a humble guy, generous and ambitious. This is how many people know Ernest John Obiena. His characters are bright and extraordinary. Today, we will talk about childhood and the formation of the personality of this talented athlete. What trauma he went through, how he was able to rise after COVID, and why he was detained. Before you find out the answers to these questions, I would personally appreciate if you click on the subscribe button and the bell notifications. Ernest John Obiana was born on November 17, 1995 in Tundo, Manila. His dad is a pole bolter and represented the Philippines in the Southeast Asian Games. His mom was a hurdler and his sister is also a national record holder in pole vaulting. It seems EJ was destined to become a pole vaulter. He started jumping at a very young age of six, and from that time, he began to train under the supervision of his father. Even now, the famous pole vaulter doesn't allow himself to relax and gets up early. Well, EJ was a good fit for the sport. After all, he had a real chance to become the world's greatest pole vaulter. In 2014, he went to Formia, Italy to train under coach Vitaly Vitrov. EJ has competed in the various tournaments since Sea Games, the World Cup, and Asian Games, and as well as the 2020 Despite the efforts played for the country representing the world, Obiano was accused by the Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association, or PATAFA, of owing his Ukrainian coach of more than 10 million pesos. I was placed in a position that I needed to defend myself. EJ's world is crumbling, and all of his dreams were shattered. My coaching fee for the period in question is a total of 85,000 euros. I have been fully paid this sum by EJ. I must say, I don't understand what this federation is doing. What's now clear, and we all agree I never took a single centavo of money from my coach. Not even the fees for transfer or exchanges rates were deducted from his salary. I paid those out of pocket. Despite this hurdle, Philippine Olympic Committee decided that EJ can continue to compete for the country. And as a result, EJ breaks his SEA Games record in Hanoi, Vietnam. With a spectacular performance, he managed to earn the boundless love of the public. But things are not as always as expected for EJ. His life became even more difficult when he was contracted by COVID. He was depressed. And he missed two of the biggest league in 2022. After recovering from COVID, EJ Obiana claimed his latest pole vault back-to-back -back gold medal in Sweden and Germany. In the world of pole vault, he has achieved a lot. EJ finally felt happy. However, fate had not had enough for him. In July 15, 
Obiena was detained by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security for over 12 hours on suspicion of escaping felony charges. At the moment, the world collapsed for EJ. But these challenges didn't stop him. EJ convinced U.S. authorities of his innocence. He was eventually released with an apology from the U.S. immigration officials. The truth is finally out. The Commission on Audit or COA has declared that Paul Walter Ernest John Obiena did not misuse the 10 million training fund that was directly given to him, which resulted from Patapa's repeated failure to liquidate on time in the past government financial aid to its athletes. Memories of those difficult times now motivate EJ. EJ competed in the qualification round on July 22. And he didn't fail us. In the finals, EJ Obiena won bronze. Obiena is the first ever Filipino to win a medal in the World Athletics Championships. Because of his amazing performance, he is expected to receive 1,200,000 pesos from the World Athletics Organization plus 250,000 pesos from the Philippine Sports Commission for breaking the Asian record. EJ has a really big heart. He and his team is set to donate 500,000 pesos to the Asia's fastest woman, Lydia De Vega, who is battling for a stage 4 cancer. He coded, However, on the flight back to Italy, it occurred to me that despite my own training needs, Mom Lydia Nebega needs this money more than I do. That's all for today. I try to choose the most interesting things about EJ. I hope you like it. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. This really means a lot to me. Trending Top will feature the life of your favorite athlete, artist, and many more exciting future plans for this channel. See you soon and be safe.